Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Thursday morning. I'm over here tightening up my glasses. I need to take them to, the, to this place in Walmart and get them to tighten and screw up. But until then, I've been I've been doing it myself. And be careful so I won't cut myself. I need to just tighten this. Oop. See, when you don't have insurance and stuff, that's why I'm trying to get this job with these benefits, y'all. I wasn't going to tell y'all. I said I wasn't going to say nothing. But I still ain't going to say nothing. But, yes, I'm going to say something. It's at Walmart, right? And they supposed to be stopping me off with all this good money. And um, it's in protection asset. And, uh, and they got benefits and stuff. And I took my little drug screening thing. Everything good and... I mean, I just, just knew I might just get the job. I still could get it. But they did a background check. And, um, I don't know. It's over 10 years old, what it is. It's, it's real, real old. And somebody would say, well, if they go back seven years, you're good. And then somebody said, uh, they might go back 30 years and all this kind of stuff. And is it a felony and all that kind of stuff? I was like, oh, look, look, look. But, I mean, I got my supervisor's name and trainee, and I might have would have went in orientation. Well, my orientation day is, I think it's November the 11th. Let me look and make sure. Yeah, my orientation is no, November the 11th. So, in the meantime, they're waiting on the, the criminal background report to come back. I mean, what God has for me, it is for me. And I would love to have that job. And they seem like they really want me, but I think... And I, I'm going to keep it realistic. I know God can make things happen. I know he can, because He done it for me before. I worked at uh, CPCC, Environmental Services, and I had a criminal record. We did a background check. It didn't come up. So I needed a job, and I just... That's when I said yesterday, sometimes you might need to keep your mouth shut. Don't say nothing. But to me, that's kind of like lying. But so, in one of my pre-interviews for this position, uh, access protection, she said, do you have a criminal record? I've never been asked this the whole time, not even on the application. She asked me, and I said, yes. She looked me dead in my eye, like, made me feel kind of, you know, insecure a little bit. And she said, you didn't murder nobody or nothing, did you? I said, no. And so she said, well, you might have to give an explanation. I said, oh, I will, no problem. See, I was asked. So I had to say something. You know, some people say you talk too much, but I was asked. And then I kind of feel discouraged, but I got a good daily bread for you this morning. This one I read before I got up out my bed. I love me some Jesus. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. And just like I said in my video, long as I'm kept by Jesus, I don't care nothing about making no more money. I mean, it would be nice so I can, you know, get little things done to myself. You know, little stuff. Get you some nice clothes. Nicer clothes. I got nice clothes. You know, just get some more things. You know, it ain't all about things, but it ain't nothing wrong with wanting more. Like I said in my video. Okay. So, here we go. We're going to read. This is coming out of Luke. Let me go turn that down. Hold on, y'all. My living room got so much junk in it, y'all. It's like a maze. It's like I be walking through my living room going like this. Dun, 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 Just getting around stuff. That was a little loud. And it sounded like I was screaming. Okay, again, this is coming out of Luke 11, 10. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be open. Listen. <laughs> what is your prayer life like? Has it grown stagnant? When we read this verse, we are reminded that of how we pray matters. We should pray diligently, constantly making our hearts and requests known to God. When we ask, we shall receive. We should not just say the prayer and be finished. We should look for what God may be using to answer our prayers. When we seek, we will, we shall find. Finally, after praying and seeking, we must continue seeking God without giving up. 
God will open the door. Dear God, there has been times when I have not called out to you out to you when I should. Sometimes it feels so hard to wait and be patient, but I know I can trust your promises. You hear my prayers and you know that I need it. You know what I need. I will continue to seek you to receive your answers. You know what I need and when I need it. Oh Lord, lead me in that direction you want me to go so that I may find you in Jesus name. I pray. Who was that meant for? Because yesterday when I left out of work, because I work in Subway, that's inside the Walmart I want to work at. And uh, and I was walking across the parking lot, and I was like this. Because didn't nobody come over there and say nothing about the background check. Didn't nobody come over there and just say nothing. And I was like, dang, I feel kind of funny now, like I might not get the job. And so... I kind of felt like give you up in a way. So I guess I said, the Lord ain't going to let me get it. So I might as well go ahead. And then the other lady said, well, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. It, it is what it is. I mean, we're going to see what it do. She said, you just better hope they don't go back 30 years. Because it's a company that hires, that do backgrounds for Walmart. Walmart don't do them. They, you know, say a big corporation, they hire somebody else to do it. They said, these people... They used to hire, you know, people with records and blah, 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 blah. But then she said that they don't do it anymore and they do all this checking and stuff. So I'm, I don't know, Lord. I'm just going to look for the answers like it, like it said. Because that's what I wanted to not say nothing about. But since I had the lady ask me, I had to say something. I didn't want to just lie because it's just like you're lying. Just keep it real. If they ask you on the application, if you did did had a uh, did a felony or a criminal record, you gotta tell the truth. I mean, if you lie on there, that's a lie. And what the Lord say? He don't like lies. He spit them out his mouth. And when the woman asked me and on the application, like I said, they never ever asked. So I thought I was woo, even though it was way over ten years ago. It still should be out the door. But anyway, that's the the laws of the lands, rules of the land, whatever you want to say. But anyway, um. Y'all can pray for me. I mean, I'm a, I'm praying too, as you know. But you gotta be careful what you ask for because the job that I'm applying for, I'm gonna be looking out, looking after people and watching people, and you know, making sure you know the asset protection with thieves, looking for thieves and standing at the door checking receipts. That's kind of like a a little dangerous job, but you know it's money. You know you. Be careful what you ask for. You got to stand at that door and you got to stay there on point. And it's a full-time position, but it's some good money, y'all. Ooh, it's some good money. So, um, I don't know what the Lord has for me. He has for me. And as y'all can tell, I'm babbling right now. Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the Lord want me to do. And I ain't worried about what he want me to do. It's just long as he keep me. I said that. Long as he keep me. And trust me, I'm blessed. I get blessings all the time, all shape, forms, and fashions, uh, just a little bit of everything. So, God got me. And, you know, I guess he, he, if he want me to have it, I will. And if he don't, I won't. And, and I'm just not going to be mad. I'm not going to be upset about it. Y'all just pray for me, okay? I'm just trying to make a little do re me here, okay? I'm 51 now. I, 55 is coming. And, you know, I don't want to be working all my life when I'm 60 and 70 if I live that long or if the Lord come back or whatever, whatever's first. Or if I die, whatever. I don't want to be working all the time all hard. So, all right, y'all got it. So, pray for a sister. And my feet ain't hurting this morning. And, yes, I got a cup of coffee. This time I put sugar in. I told you. I kind of I kind of was upset yesterday, so I treat myself to some little stuff. All right, well, y'all have a... Uh, a blessed and wonderful day, and this is like a little corkscrew knife thing. I don't, you know, I carry weapons and stuff, but this was just to fix my glasses, and you see the lens ain't falling out. Okay, now y'all have a blessed day. Bye now. Whoosh. <laughs>